Schäden überprüfen. Jawohl. Statusbericht. Die werden wir uns nicht lange halten können. Jemand muss da raus uns den Weg suchen. Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Battlefield 5. Today we're going to play the last Tiger War Story. I'm going to make it just one big video. Basically, uh, DICE released this today. It's a new update for the game with a couple new guns, uh, some fixes, a new map, and this new war story called The Last Tiger, in which you command a tiger in 1945. And we actually get to see the US forces for the first time in Battlefield 5. If you complete the campaign, you actually receive a unique tank skin. And the tank skin is seen here. It is actually a very good looking skin, especially when you see that it's free. Well, you have to, you know, put your time into the campaign. But the other two skins that are there are very expensive. All right, while I have your attention, I quickly wanted to plug my second channel, Shermanology. I haven't uploaded there in a while, but I do intend to upload a ton of Battlefield 5 and Rainbow Six Siege content on there in the future. Link will be in the description. Tons of stuff coming. I'm going to be uploading some more Battlefield 5 videos on this channel, but it'll slowly decrease until I will only upload these videos on the channel linked in the description. Hope to see you there. Cheers. Als ich ein Kind war, wurde eine Gruppe von Jungs im Dorfladen beim Clown erwischt. Mein Vater war außer sich, als er davon erfuhr. Aber ich habe doch gar nichts gestohlen. Vielleicht, sagte er. des Tigerpanzers 237 und ich war dort. So bald alles vorbei. Müller! Sagen Sie mir, dass wir Nachschub kriegen. Und einen neuen Funker. Das wäre gelogen, Kerz. Ich lüge niemals, das wissen Sie. Das ist sehr anständig von Ihnen, Kommandant. Tja. Kommandanten können sich es eben im Gegensatz zu fahren nicht leisten, jeden Mist auszusprechen, der in den Sinn kommt, Schröder. Ja, Kommandant. Auf Ihre Position. Muss der dir eigentlich die ganze Zeit hinterherlaufen wie ein Streunder und? Er ist noch ein Kind. Dann hast du ihm ja bestimmt die Parteilinie erklärt. Ich habe ihn nur daran erinnert, wer wir sind, Kerz. Los geht's. Warum sprengen wir nicht einfach die Brücke und halten die Amis auf der anderen Seite? Weil wir uns nicht zurückziehen. Wir rücken vor.
passiert mit denen? Die kriegen das, was sie verdienen. Scheiß Feiglinge. Gemeinsam sind wir stärker. Vergessen Sie das nicht. I'm very excited to see how this campaign's gonna go. Obviously, it's 1945. Germany is more or less about to be absolutely destroyed by both the Soviets and the Allied forces pushing in from east and west. Our tank crew consists of a older commander who seems to be more veteran and a driver because, like, you know, I don't really care anymore. And then we have two or three crew members in our Tiger who, uh, well, they're a bit young. Uh, that one kid could barely carry the ammo, and I can only assume that a round for a Tiger tank's 88mm gun is pretty damn heavy. Uh, I have never carried one myself, but I don't know how good or how bad a 16, 17 year old is going to be able to carry that round. This guy right there. Well, he's no longer there. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to see how this campaign's going to go. I'm not really too sure how they're going to do this. You know, obviously our, our tank commander is not a diehard Nazi. I think that's pretty obvious so far already. He seems to kind of be like, you know, we need to do whatever is right for our fatherland. And right now that I guess is more or less fighting. But at the same time, he definitely doesn't seem, he didn't seem excited when those cowards in between brackets were, uh, were basically pulled back. And, uh, you know, they're carrying the I'm a deserter tags, etc. Like, the, the commander seemed really, I don't know, he seemed really kind of not really caring about it. Uh, maybe he didn't want to give his emotions away too much, but I'm very excited to see uh, how they're going to do the campaign here. Considering they don't want to have a diehard Nazi campaign, obviously. But I'm, I'm kind of hoping, unlike Battlefront 2, spoiler, it's not going to be something... Uh, like uh, Battlefront 2 where the main character after I think one mission or two missions changed to become a rebel from the Empire's like pilot so I guess it's going this way this game does look really good armored combat oh 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 are those enemy tanks those are Shermans all right well one hit, two hit, one hit, and in the turret, we can just go lower, pulse shot, and it's dead. There we go. I like the commander popping out. It's pretty cool, actually. Oh, guys, they stole a pack gun. Got him. Oh, uh, light armored car. Infantry with anti tank weapons. Let's repair. Can we break through here? I guess that's our goal here, pretty much. Here, oh, that's a Panzer IV. Never mind, we're good. This tiger does look pretty damn sexy. Yeah, you better want to get in the tank, dude. It sort of reminds me of the Company of Heroes 2 DLC to Tales of Valor, where you're the, like the Tiger crew. That's a that's a cool level. I found the enemy artillery. Sherman. One. Two. 
One. Oh wow, that was an insta kill. Never mind. Oh, we didn't even kill this one. Now it is. So it's kind of cool to see this like more elite crew, the older, the, the two older men who are, you know, kind of. I mean, I mean, they're not against the war, most likely, but they're not a big fan of it either anymore, and they're definitely not like a hardcore Nazi. And then the kids, who are very obvious, both, um, you know, very indoctrinated, you know, basically since their birth, they've been indoctrinated with this, you know, thing that Nazi Germany is the best country and that they're the master race. Also, I can't seem to hit this artillery. There you go. Oh, God! What the hell just happened? Why are my friendlies retreating? That was an instant kill. Maybe it's a turret. That's just a weak spot. Oh, okay, that's a Daimler. Or a sack hound, sorry. How do we just lose like 70 health? Well, not 70. 30. Okay, we're expecting a counterattack here. Oh, I think the smoke might be. <laughs> might be their counterattack. Oh, that's a Calliope. Oh, God! We got the guy in the building. There's more Calliope shots coming in. Oh, that hurt a lot. Oh, there's a Calliope right behind us. What the hell? There it is. Miss. Oh, no, actually, I hit him sort of, but really low health. Okay, we killed him. We're going to have to repair here, though. Quick. Just in time, and no missed. Upper, upper, upper. That's a hit, and we need one more shot, and it's dead. All right. Nope, that's not dead. It's not dead. Not dead. Come on. There we go. We got it. Woo! Uh, this actually uh, is a lot more interesting than I thought it was going to be. Then again, you know, the comments are going to be, Oh, it's not realistic. Did you see how he just rotated that tiger around in 0.5 seconds? And then when you're like, well, if you want to play a really a real tiger, then obviously you shouldn't be playing Battlefield 5. Wait, where the hell am I going? Was that not a hit immediately? Got that guy. Push on. Can we push through here? Oh, we are actually supposed to push through here, I think. That's a ton of contacts up there. Oh, I missed. Are you serious? I just repaired my tank, you bastard. I'm really, I'm, I really like how the commander of the tank is like very slowly going inside the tank after the rocket hits. All right. Oh, hello there, Mr. Staghound and Mr. Sherman. Wow, the guy next to the tank died because of the shrapnel from the tank exploding. That's kind of cool. Oh, this is going to go bad, I assume. This is a very open street. I don't know what his tank commander needs. has to feel the pop out every single time. This is only gonna go bad here. Fire! Got him, moving up. Okay, I think we gotta just keep on moving here. Yeah, there's definitely nothing coming from there. One of these points, we're just gonna get ambushed really bad. You can feel it coming. Oof, those guys are no more. 200 meters away. We're almost here now. 160. Holy balls, what the hell is going on? 
All right, we got that stag hound, or stag hound. Now there's two tanks, a calliope back there. I don't know if we hit it. No, we did hit it. It's dead, another Sherman. Turret hit, missed, well, it bounced. Another calliope, they're firing on the move. Come on, come on, got him down. Far away shot, but it's a kill. Another stag hound, Kobe. He's down. All right, let's move into a position here. There's no way back for us here. Let them come. Backhound. Target eliminated. I think it's down. Oh, it just survived. Okay, that was a miss. That was my bad. Now it's down. Another stag down. Target destroyed. I think we've just destroyed the entire, like, third American armored division. Oh, is that a 76 Sherman? It looked like it is. That looked like a 76 Sherman. It definitely had some extra armor and stuff on the front. We might take an extra shot or two to kill it. No, nope, never, never mind. Shermans and Tigers are still a bad match. We're hitting this guy's turret. Let's wait till it pops up and fire. No, oh, what? Was that a miss? I suck. That's a kill. Let's repair because I'm kind of afraid of these calliopes. They're actually pretty strong. Their rockets are anyway. On the move. I don't need a stabilizer. I am my own stabilizer. It's got a cool out of tank commander. It's like, oh, pointing at where I need to go. Got that guy. You're no longer hurting the Tiger. This is a very good looking camo on this tank. It looks really good. I think this is where we're supposed to be going, no? Oh, that's bad. Oh, red artillery smoke. Keep going. Close the hatch, dude. No. I thought we were going to escape it, but I think we just got fighter bombered. Or yaboed. That was badass. A lot more badass than I thought they were going to make this campaign. I really thought that they were going to make this like, oh, you're going to switch to the allies, you're gonna, like you're going to drive a Sherman 76 soon. Status Bericht. Wir werden uns nicht lange halten können. Jemand muss da raus uns einen Weg suchen. Schicken Sie Hartmann. Wovon zur Hölle reden Sie da? Der Mann ist nicht in der Verfassung. Vertrauen Sie auf unsere Stärke. Das waren doch eure Worte, oder? Keine Schwäche, keine Sentimentalität. Gott noch mal. Sie sind so wichtig. Das können wir nicht riskieren. Und ich, ich bediene das Geschütz. Dann mache ich das eben. Nein, Sie müssen fahren. Aber Hartmann, der ist doch eh eingeschlagen. Austauschbar. Wollen Sie ihn wirklich da rausschicken? Hartmann! Ja? Steigen Sie aus dem Panzer. I don't know if the tank is that big on the inside. Suchen Sie uns da draußen einen Weg ins Freie. Ach Gott, nochmal Müller, nein, der Mann ist nicht in der Verfassung. Bitte, Peter, ich kann wirklich... Raus aus dem Panzer, Hartmann. Ich möchte, dass Sie Ihre Pflicht tun. He looks like the tank commander from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Das gilt für jeden hier. And these CGI things look really good. Like, look at that. What, right, they're gonna kill him?
He's gonna get fucked up. Das wissen Sie doch gar nicht. Ruhe. Hören Sie das? Bewegung auf 9 Uhr. Und auf 12 Uhr. Holy balls. Bringen Sie uns aus hier. Wir können doch Hartmann nicht hier lassen. makes me wonder what an allied force would do if they came across an empty looking tank in rubble would they shoot it would they blow it up would they at least inspect it this kind of actually makes me very curious now these are americans aren't they holy balls are we just gonna run through this because they're all just running off the road There's a tank over here. Hit. Down. There's another. I didn't realize there was an actual tank right here. And a Calliope shooting at me from behind. Kill it. No, I missed it. That was bad. This is bad. Their rockets really hurt a lot. Fire. God damn it. We got it. Holy balls. Yeah, it still makes me wonder what would the Allied what would an Allied force do in 1944 or 1945 when you're in a city in Germany and they're driving through and they see a, like an empty tiger just standing there. Uh, would they actually do anything with it? That's kind of interesting to me to think about. There has to be some sort of doctrine that they followed, right? Like, we'll destroy every ha every building that has a tank in it, or something along those lines. Oh, God! No, why did you have to die, Mr. Half-Track? These guys were not friendly? Where did the Half-Track just come from, then? Not the tank on! Down. Enemy rocket troops. One. Two. What? It just survived around. Oh, you're you're goner. Is there someone yell something in English? You bastard! Where the hell are you? Well, it doesn't matter. I'll just destroy the entire building you're in, bud. Let's go for a quick repair. There you go. Those are planes. Get off the road. Get off the road. I can't get more off the road from here. Ow. I don't know, this is bad. Wait, did he just say, he just called a tank? 
by a name. Außerhalb des Panzers war die Welt unmittelbarer. Der Geruch und Blut und Tod. Ohne meine stählerne Hülle unterschied mich nichts von den Leichen in den Ruinen. I don't have a lot of gedankenlose allmächtige Maschinen. Bin einfach nur ein verwundbarer Mann voller Fehler. I have no ammo at all here whatsoever. What is this? This better be something useful. Oh, yeah, that's useful. It's got little ammo. This is the Delil carbine, then, right? Why aren't all the Americans using Panzerfaust? Can I get up here? Is this stupid? What? Yeah, that was stupid. Huh? I don't know if we can get past these guys really easily here. Not bad. Five shots, five kills. That's uh, pretty commendable. Wait, what's in, what's in there? Why is this open like that? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Is it a tank? Okay, it's not. It's not coming this way though. If you're sticking this building to the right side, it seems like a... Oh, I can throw lure, lures? I should have done that. Didn't realize you could do that. Hmm. TNT, not a bad idea. Panzerfaust, not a bad idea. Sniper. I mean, I love this commando thing a lot better than the... Uh, what's this control thing? This? Okay, I just throw a rock or something. Okay, we're gonna have to kill... And we're gonna have to get to the AA gun somehow. Is that a run button? Just, oh! Why would you do that, Mosquito? Why are you bombing here? No one saw that, right? I love the crouch running in this. I'm so happy that it made it into a Battlefield game. I didn't play Battlefield 1, so I'm not sure it was Battlefield 1, but. I definitely love an RO2, so I'm glad that it's in this game too. But if it wasn't Battlefield 1, then I apologize, because I never played Battlefield 1, so. That tank is just running around, I'm not a big fan of this. What's in the middle? Oh, I don't. That's like a rusty old Lewis gun. How about you get out of here? Is there going to be an enemy on this point here? There's an enemy right there, I think. Okay, we're good. I also lied when I said we were good. The tank better not have seen me. Well, the tank's gonna notice something's going on when I take down the plane. You not think that the Sherman's gonna be like, hmm, there's people shooting at our aircraft? Come on, oh god. I thought I was gonna go a little bit closer than that.
That's gonna go. Are we done? I think the Sherman wants me dead. No! <laughs> that was a little bit too close, but, you know, we could try again. Actually, you know what? Let's take out the Sherman, because it's pissing me off right now. I missed. And the plane's coming back. We got it, we got it. Oh god. Did I kill it? Oh wow, that was amazing. Wait, I gotta return all the way to the Oh. Hello there, friends. So did I not kill it? Was that was it the tiger that killed the Sherman? Oh god, no, let me get in! I'm right here! What are you doing? Dude! Get in, let me get in! Oh god, that was a bad time. I was like, I if I was gonna die there, I would have been really annoyed. Oh, it's a Sherman right there as well. I didn't even realize that. And it's a gone Sherman. Whew! This actually has been pretty cinematic. I mean, I, it's not realistic. But then again, that's not why I'm playing Battlefield 5. I'm not playing Battlefield 5 to play a realistic game. Because I'd be playing Red Orchestra 2 or something like that, right? I'm playing... That's so cool looking. But it's bad for my health. I just bounced on it. Oh, there's a lot of anti-tank guys. Oh, God. Okay, we got him. Oh, another anti-tank. He's down. I think we did it. Question mark. I'm just on think. My lord. This campaign actually has been a lot more interesting than I thought it was going to be. Like I said, I was really afraid they were just going to make me join the allies about 30 minutes in and desert. Um, and join the allies. You know, drive a Sherman around. Um, or Sherman 76, whatever, you know, drive something. Or Pershing, I would love to drive a Pershing around. I think it'd be really cool. But that's pretty much what I was legit thinking that entire time. Before playing the game myself right now, obviously. Before playing the campaign myself. So far, I'm, um... What? Wait, really? Oh, that's what we're doing. Yeah, no, I'm pleasantly surprised. Really thought this is gonna be different. So I'm really happy that they went this way and didn't go the kind of like easy way and make like a super simple campaign where you're always playing as the allies. Actually makes me pretty happy. I don't think we need this. Looks really cool though, but quite a few Americans down here. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Let's go. Might be a bit more effective. Oh, what the hell is that? Was it a tank or just a machine gunner? That would have been a headshot, I swear. Okay, I think we made it. Inside the house area. There's gonna be a guy behind me. Or it's the kid. Did it say strong or streng? I'm not sure if it's a strong geheim or streng geheim, because it should be streng. There's gonna be tons of Americans out here, isn't there?
I think we're good. What are these guys doing? You're looking the wrong way. I'm over here. It's like a grenade. Wait, this guy's getting his friend up? This isn't multiplayer. You can't do that. Is he going to get a squad made by? Oh, just there's no squad revive in single player. There's only a... That's actually kind of cool. Didn't realize that medics were going to get their, their, like, friends up in single player. So, I have the documents on me. I'm not going to just eat them or something? I mean, I would... I don't really know what to do with them. I guess eating them is maybe not the best solution either. But at least not taking them with me. Well, let's say the tiger blows up. The documents are gone too, right? So, I guess it makes sense in a way. I laugh at Sherman's now. Oh, I don't laugh at this. This is actually bad. Well, I mean, I do, I do, I do still kind of laugh at this, but I don't want to die. So I'm getting a little bit too overconfident here. There's a Calliope shooting at me from way back there. Those really hurt. Flyby goner. Flyby missed. Should go for a quick repair right here if we can. We're kind of hurt. All right, we're good. This really does remind me of the average Call of Duty slash Battlefield campaign in a good way. I like it. And the tank that keeps on missing. American tank crew in action here, boys. Oh, we're gonna get ambushed here. Oh no. The game oh the game must not like that. Rend the game must not like going from gameplay to rendering some cutscene immediately. Why would you pop out of the turret? American propaganda in the background. That guy is, has a guy as a face from the multiplayer. Is the kid gonna be hanging there? The kid that they give the MP42? It is, right? Hartmann? Dieser Idiot! Halten Sie sich den Mund! Er hat seine Pflicht getan, wie befohlen. Seine Pflicht? Nein! Er war ein Verräter! I'm trying to come up with how many crew are in a tiger. Isn't it five? Driver, radio operator slash bow machine gunner, commander, gunner, and loader. Wouldn't that be five? Or maybe tiger has four. I think a tiger has five. So now they're down to a three-man crew. Wo sind die Verteidigungsstellung? Kommandant, was ist hier los? Ich werde es herausfinden. Sie reißen sich zusammen, Schröder. It's a very nice cinematic view. Radio. Is this one the radio borked? Is that what they said? Oh my god. It's going to go down the hill. Mensch, Peter, what are we doing now? Let's go to I mean, at what point do you surrender, though? I mean, you have this tank. I don't know. I mean, when you run out of ammo and fuel, and even then, some tigers, uh, I think one of the last Yacht Tigers in action actually was put on an intersection, and they just Wo left the it there, and they just used it as a bunker. Wir sind allein. Bleiben Sie, wo Sie sind. Ich besorge uns ein intaktes Funkgerät. 
This is almost kind of like a start to a Call of Duty zombie map. Now, now I'm scaring myself. There's not going to be any zombies. Is there? This is so zombie-esque. Is it going to be one final stand, or are we going to just die here? Are we going to jump into Tiger? Oh, well, am I going to shoot people now? What? They're running away? Why would you run away? There's a single tiger. Oh, get in, get in, get in, get in. Like, I really thought that we were going to surrender there, considering, you know, well, I mean, I'm not sure why all they, why they all decided to retreat, but we're going to leave it like that. Are we just supposed to move on? No, there's more coming. There's more coming. Let's pull back. Let's pull back into the into the church. They can't kill the church. It's holy ground. Oh, the church pretty much fucking gone to begin with at this point, but... This has to be like the last stand, right? Of the tiger. The church is going to collapse on us after like a fighter bomber hits us, but... They're allowing me to move around, so maybe not exactly like that. Okay, we have to actually push up and kill this guy or he's going to just keep on hitting us. Alright, we got more enemies coming. This is like an actual like final boss level of, of, of some insane video game. That's what it feels like right now. On the move. He's on fire. And oh, whoa, he like blew up. He, he imploded. The ammo imploded there. Well, it exploded, I guess, but it looked like the tank has got to bounce. Fire. And right back, 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 back. We're just gonna show him our butt, our tiger butt. That's bad, because it's actually a 76, I think. Because it has more armor. Oh, no, it just, just bumped up and exploded. Hell yeah, boys. More enemies coming in. I mean, I'm assuming at one point there's going to be too many tanks, and then you're just going to die. Got him. Enemies incoming infantry as well. What, however this campaign ends, I have to say, this has been an actual badass campaign so far. This is the first time I... Wow, look at that! That's awesome! I'm like kind of freaking out right now. It must have been an ammo rack hit. If only that was a multiplayer. Or maybe it is a multiplayer and I didn't know or I haven't seen it ever yet, but I somehow doubt it. Because I would have seen it happen at some point, but that would be look really cool. Kind of giving it the nickname Tommy Cooker, right? Like, quite literally referring to cro cooking the crew inside the Sherman tank. Well, I think I heard that was actually a bullshit. Like, they didn't explode as much as they, the crew just would die. But then again, I don't know. I, I, I just once heard that, that myth is, like, not really true, but... Are they going to just send tanks to me until I actually die? Maybe we should try aiming for the turret to be blown off, because that's probably how you get the ammo to cook off. I don't know. We'll, we'll try. We'll see what happens. I can't really see there. Oh, there's okay. There's a lot of enemies coming in behind me now. That's a fury tank. Pretty much.
my face was really cramped there for a second because I was getting kind of scared I was going to die. This might be the last... This might be the last, like, wave. We're ready. One of these hits from the Shermans would have totally taken out the crew member inside. Rejoin the main force. I don't know where to go. I'm assuming it's left or right from here. Oh, that hurt. It's that way. It's that way. I thought that that artillery hitting my tank was going to kill me. This game looks so pretty, though. Oh, God. Oh, that hurt. We're stuck. Come on. Okay, we're not going that way. What way are we going? Is it this way? I'm just going reverse because I don't want to die because the artillery is really heavy. Okay, it is this way. Holy balls. We're going backwards. It's okay, though. Keep going. Keep going. We'll keep our, we'll keep our front towards the enemy. The bridge is probably going to explode with us on it, isn't it? It's going to get bombed. Driver, let's go. This is very cinematic. There goes the bridge. It's really not a good start or end. Oh God. Oh no. Yeah, you're not fixing that. Not without. What's that alarm? <laughs> oh God. So now they're gonna have to become prisoners of war or? Oh, he's gonna try and desert. Sie haben uns verraten. Die haben die Brücke gesprengt. Die wollen uns hier verrecken lassen. Doesn't look like a German tank crew member. Komm, wir müssen jetzt was. Stärke zeigen. He's gonna get shot by the young kid in the tank. This guy on the right, the driver. Sieh dich doch um, Peter. Gott steh uns bei. Alles, woran wir geglaubt haben. Alles, was wir dafür getan haben. Es ist vorbei. Nein, Kat. Komm. Tu das nicht, Kat. Peter, es ist vorbei. He's gonna get machine gunned by the kid. Oh, well, SMG, whatever. Kat! Kat! Is that a British paratrooper helmet guy yelling an American? Shit.
That was probably one of the best campaigns, though it was short and not so much realistic, but the story portrayed a German campaign for once in a World War II FPS game. That was awesome. I highly suggest you check it out for yourself. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to see you guys in the next one. Cheers.